Hi guys, it's Nana here. Thanks so much for joining me again. Today I am going to be doing my August final budget report. It is September 2nd, so I'm just going to finish off my account and round up everything and settle everything and if there's any money left over then I'm gonna transfer some money to my debt tonight so let us start I left off on the 18th of August I had tracked everything up to the 9th of August or something about that time if you haven't make sure to check out my August budget report and refresh your memory as to what my plans were, what I had starting at the beginning of the month and how it is compared to now at the end of the month. I don't think I did a mid-month review just because this month has been a bit hectic for me. I've had a lot of work this month trying to pay some bills, trying to get some money. So I kind of slacked in terms of the mid-month review, but I think I did a budget, um, August new budget, like the opening part of the month, and then I also did a week one budget, so that should have caught everyone up. Nothing much has changed except from that time, except that I've spent money, right? So let us start. I'm going to scroll down. I have 32 transactions to post starting with August 11th. So like I said, I had a lot of work this month because I was trying to not pay back bills because I didn't, um, other than the debt that I have listed here, I don't really have much debt. But because I missed three weeks of work and I wasn't getting, getting a second paycheck for this month, I needed to make some extra money. So I got this like side hustle job at another pharmacy if you don't know I work in a pharmacy and it is pharmacy the pharmacy is Robinson's so I got paid $75 for I think it was like five hours worth of work so I, I'm actually supposed to work every Friday at this place so I'm gonna put this under freelance as an income but then I had more opportunities to freelance at another pharmacy, so I kept like putting it off, putting it off. So I missed two Fridays at Robinson's where I worked at another pharmacy, but I'm going to explain all of that. So I got Robinson's $75, and then my original job, my primary job, if you don't know, D is extra hours from my primary job where they pay you like under the table they give you the cash at the end of the day because it's kind of like my primary job but not really because it's like a it's a franchise of pharmacies so I work at a particular location and then I also side hustle at a, another location under the same pharmacy right where it's at the second location they pay me under the table so I get the cash the same day so I did $50 at D on the 12th and then we go to my food addiction so I spent food on the 14th this was probably just some snacks or something based on the amount it's three dollars and thirty cents and then I had to pay a shipping fee for something I think it was some, what was it, like two goodies that I got from an Etsy shop based on some sale that I did in like July and it took like a month to get here. So it was $12.50 for the shipping, put that on our miscellaneous and then food. So I'm just going to quickly go through all the food, I'm just going to add it under groceries. So add that. Then add two dollars sixty. Add five twenty. When it's like less than ten dollars, it's usually like a snack, and I don't spend five dollars every day on snacks. It's probably like two dollars fifty one day, and then two dollars fifty the other day, and it doesn't make sense for me to individually track the same thing. So I just kind of add them together. And just put them as one so that I can just track them as one. 
$10 for a snack is a bit much, so I don't know what was going on there. Food for $16.88, I think this was when I went to the groceries. It wasn't much. It was a couple stuff like cereal, cheese, bread, you know, those weekly things that you kind of have to buy. And then I also did food here is snacks. And then this food here for $55 was groceries that I did on August 27th. So we went to like the farmer's market. It wasn't really the supermarket. Went to the farmer's market and got like fresh fruits and veggies and um, ground provisions and stuff like that for September really. All right, so let's go back to my transactions. So on August 16th, I bought gas. Every time I fill up my tank, only I only put in twenty dollars because that usually serves me to go to work and go home for the week and I like to put in gas just for the week and then I bought gas on the twenty first again and then I also bought gas recently I think it was Tuesday yeah I bought gas on the twenty ninth which I'm going to explain further on why I have so much in gas. Because that's a bit more than usual. That There's an extra trip, an extra gas trip that I usually wouldn't have. So I'm going to come back to that. And then let's go to Liz, Little Caesars slash O. So one of my co-workers, it was her birthday on the 18th, right? And she kept saying, oh, everyone... Like every day someone bought her lunch. So she was saying, oh, it was my day to buy her lunch on her birthday. I don't know why, but I got that. So we had a deal at Little Caesars where you got this like pizza and you got two pizzas for eleven twenty five. So I bought that for her and for her lunch. Plus we kind of ended up sharing it with everyone at the pharmacy. So I'm going to add that on the restaurants. And then on the 18th, I did some more hours at my primary job where I worked $70. Yay. And then credit. So the, how my phone works is that I have to add minutes and data by purchasing it separately. So I added the minutes and data. I should actually have a separate category for this because I'm realizing that I'm actually buying more minutes and data usually I don't because I have Wi-Fi at home and I have Wi-Fi at work so I don't typically use it but because I got what like a, like a second side job I needed the data for to use a GPS to figure out how to get there and then I also needed data because there's no, I don't have access to the Wi-Fi that's there so when the pharmacy is kind of dull I kind of need to use my phone to keep my mind occupied because the internet they like block off certain sites and it's really annoying I don't know why they're so strict there but I need data for that so I added it on I added data on the 18th so I'm gonna put this under miscellaneous but next month I think I'm gonna add a category for that so I definitely definitely needed the data for a GPS for the first time that I went there, but after that, my data was usually for entertainment, really. And then I added it on the more than likely this is not the 19th. It was probably like the 20 something, or this was probably minutes that I added here. This was 450, and then I also added data and minutes on the 24th because I worked there the 24th and the 25th. So I'm going to add this here, and this was $8.50. All right, so back to Octavia, which is my friend who had a birthday on the 18th. So everyone in the office had to pitch in to buy her, like, a spa package for her birthday. I don't know what kind of, like, why is she getting so much gifts? I don't know. I mean, she's nice and all, but... I didn't get nothing from my birthday for these people and everyone kept saying oh you weren't here you weren't here we would have done the same thing for you but you could still give it to me after the fact right 
so whatever so we had to pitch in fifteen dollars for her spa package so I'm gonna put that on there miscellaneous again miscellaneous is getting a beating right now and then I had Popeye's where was Popeye's on the six this was at this site side hustle number two job because it's like an hour away from my where I usually work I have to rush to get there and then I'm staying there until 12 11 o'clock in the night so when I have lunch at 12 in the day that has to last me until 12 when I leave to go home so usually I end up buying something at around 7 or 8 over there so on the 25th I bought papayas which is not good because that's just unnecessary and unwanted calories I have to try and figure out a way how to bring food for the later half of the days when I work at that place and then I work some extra hours on the 26 so that was $65 and then same thing let's call this pharmacy monarch <coughs> Right, so at Monarch on the 28th, I worked there that night and I bought some loaded fries from Wendy's which were really good and it really helped with my hunger, but that's just money that I don't want to spend and that's just extra calories that I don't need, honestly. So I'm going to put that on there, Wendy's, that was $3.50. And then near the end of the month, oh, this is foolishness because I had already paid these before I left oh I can just delete these I thought that I hadn't paid them but I did all right so I'm just gonna delete these my savings I had I forgot that I had paid them did I no I hadn't paid them for August I had paid them in July before I left Sorry, so yeah, I paid them on the 29th. I paid everything because I kept putting it off. So I had to pay everything at the end of the month. So paid my emergency fund, which was 230 which, oh my God, I'm going to like dry that emergency fund. But that is for the September budget plan. And then I paid FCIB, which is $100. And then we have some other random food that I bought on the 29th. So I'm going to put that here. Alright, so I'm just going to add the other rest of my savings that I just deleted really quick. I'm going to add it to my transaction. So smart save is 260 And I definitely did do all of these on the 29th. Just type this in quickly. And then 240 was Smart Invest. 240 Smart Invest. And then I have a hundred for Scotia. And then I don't really remember what else I had missed out on. Oni for seventy five. Let's just double check this. Right, I didn't add Oni, so let's add this. 75 Oni on the 29th track. Alright, so I should have all my savings tracked. Now let's just double check. This says no Scotia, but I just did Scotia. Alright, so let's add Scotia here. Alright guys, so I added Scotia manually, so I'm just going to delete this. I didn't realize that was there. So on the same day that I put all that money in my 
savings i also paid the minimums on my loans so my minimum for my student loan is 325 so i paid that on the 29th and then the minimum on my credit card is 220 so i paid that also on the 29th all right so i have two more transactions to add on the 29th i worked some extra shifts at d and i got 50 dollars so let's put that here and then so for monar because like i said it's an hour away it's actually more than an hour away going the regular route like not taking the toll it's like two to two and a half hours from my primary job just because of the traffic and i usually work there on a friday night so the traffic is like extra long so to get there within the hour that i have between my first job and this job i usually take the toll so the toll is around two dollars something one way i only have to take it one way just to get there and then to get home i can take the regular non-toll way because it's around 20 minutes from my house but like two hours in traffic away from my job right so i took the toll five times this month i took it on the 18th that was the first no i took it on the 24th the 25th the 27th no the 28th the 29th and the 30th so i took the toll five times and that toll came up to 1375 so i'm gonna put that in miscellaneous so why i'm okay with taking the toll is because it's what i pay to get there and get that extra hour of the job is not a big deal like compared to what i'm getting paid for per hour it's not a big deal so I'm willing to spend that little extra money to get that extra hour and therefore that extra pay right so I have no more transactions to add so let us settle up my August budget so if you watch my previous video you would know why I was only getting one paycheck for August that was because I missed three weeks of work two weeks of July and one week of August so P P1 was the only paycheck I received for August. Then D are the extra shifts that I was trying to pull up at my primary job. So I earned $235, which is okay. A little bit more than planned, but not like all the way over. And then August rolled over with some extra money that I had from July that was left over that I rolled over to this month because I needed it. And then freelance is the job at Robinson's. That extra job that I, which is like, let's call this my second job. So like my third job, but they're not really jobs because it's not an ongoing arrangement that I have with Robinson's and Monarch. It's more of a, as, as, on an as needed basis, right? So Monarch, I'm not going to get him paid for the work I did in August until September. September, I just put in the claim for that on the 30th, so I won't get it until September, probably around the first two weeks of September. But for Monarch, they pay you the same day, so I got the $75, which is great. So I have $80 left to budget. <laughs> probably that probably is going to be gone. So my all my savings was paid off. And then auto gas and oil. I think this was this went over. What happened? Did I put these in the wrong area? I think I put these things in the wrong area, right? Because this food here it should be in groceries. I don't know what went wrong. I guess I was dragging them to the wrong place so let me quickly adjust this so this should be in groceries so that means that all my other gas and oil went to groceries for some strange reason i was wondering why groceries was so over i mean i know it's over but i didn't think it was that over so all my gas i'm gonna have to edit 
and put it in auto gas and oil so let me do that one second all right guys so i adjusted that and put them in the correct place i think why it went into groceries was because when i'm putting them into the categories i'm thinking gas that starts with a g and groceries also starts with a g but it's really auto gas and oil which starts with an e so i think that's where i made the mistake so i am ten dollars over in gas and that's because i had to re-up an extra time near the end of the month because of all those trips that I was making to the other town for the work at, work at Monarch. So that's $60 for gas and then miscellaneous is $54.54, <laughs> nice number there. And that was due to like minutes and data that I had to buy, birthday for our staff, so tolls, really unexpected things that I didn't look out for what's going on here it says i'm fifty dollars over let's put it at 104 and let's see what goes on there oh so i spent 104.54 in miscellaneous wow that's a lot all right groceries it was a hundred and twenty dollars i think someone said that if i i don't have to um use the calculator if I double click it it will show me how much I spent but yet it's not doing it it did it previously when I was doing something right so it's 126 28 so instead of having to bust out my calculator on this computer I can just do that to even off everything and then groceries restaurants I spent 110 05 so I went off in groceries and restaurants and miscellaneous. I went way off. Auto gas and oil. Um, it kind of evens out because I'm getting extra money for that. For clothing, New York. I am going to just finish this off. So I spent two seventy seven, seventy five, and then miscellaneous shopping. I spent one eighty one. One. I didn't touch any of my sinking funds just because I don't need them right now. Like my car fund dentist that is really going to start in September. So right now I am $105.93 over. So let us work out my that situation so I think it was in July no one of my previous videos someone said that you should do the debt snowball method and start with your lowest debt and work from there so like I said previously I like the idea of that but sometimes if I have the extra money then I just put it evenly between the two so this time I don't really have any extra money I mean, I do because I had already planned to put extra to it, to my loans, but not really. It's like, you can see that it's not a lot that's going to be extra. So, I'm just going to do the snowball that way and just put all the extra towards my credit card, which is my lowest debt at $6,211.50. That's a current balance. Not really because it does not include any interest that is incurred. Like it doesn't show that because you know interest is every month. So I don't go and add the interest. That would be interesting to do, but that's a bit too much work for me. So I'm gonna put the extra $154.58 to the credit card debt, and then I'm just gonna leave the minimum for the student loan for this month. Next month is a three paycheck month, so I should some have some extra money, so I might actually put it two towards the two so let us add this up it's gonna be 374.58 right and it's an every dollar budget so august was a bit hectic if i am being honest with myself the trip definitely threw me off my budgeting game. I was kind of, uh, let's just spend this, spend that. But not having that second paycheck also kind of threw me off because not that I needed the money, but it would have been nice to kind of put extra money towards my debt. 
but I actually got paid on September 1st, so ooh, thank God for that, but that's going to be in the next video. So let's do a breakdown for August. I spent 35% on savings, which is around my usual, and then on avoidables, which is like gas and oil and miscellaneous, was 6%, not bad, but a bit higher than usual just because of that extra stuff in miscellaneous. Food was 8%, $236, which I don't know how to cut down on food. I mean, I'm not even buying real groceries, and it's way up. That's not good. It should be like less than 5%. I need to really work on that. My debt was 24%. I am trying to meet my minimums for my debt and a little extra, but I'm not aggressively putting money towards my debt. And I don't know why that is, but I like the idea of savings better. Maybe it's that I can't, I'm trying to like put a full down payment on all my debt. I don't know what the mentality is, but maybe that's what I'm trying to do. And then sinking funds is 27%. This was mostly for the trip, right? Leftover money from shopping for the trip was 27%. And that is my August budget review, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to comment down below if you think I should stop putting so much money towards savings and really try and focus on my debt. I don't know. It's not that, I mean, I like savings because I like having that money for anything that happens, but the debt it's not going anywhere in terms of the money is not really going down but the money is also not really increasing so it's not moving it's kind of stagnant whereas my savings it's moving because I'm putting money in there and I'm getting good interest so tell me what you think down below make sure to check out my September budget plan is going to be right up after this video and thanks so much guys for watching make sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up and have a great day, guys. Bye.